Cecil Sunkir gonna be the pink Protoss spawning on the left, and we have cross positions against Picnic, who is also spawning Protoss. Now Picnic is playing that random race, so uh, Cecile does not is not aware of the fact that he is going to be playing a PvP mirror matchup, and I have to say that is actually one of the uh, most difficult things as Protoss versus Random when you're the Protoss player because the way you have to play PvP is so much different than the way you have to play the other matchups that you really really would like to know right from the start to your first pylon almost what race your opponent is and we can already see Cecile Sunkir he's gonna be scouting on nine he's doing a pylon scout he wants to find his opponent as quick as he can he wants to figure out what he's up against right now meanwhile picnic he's gonna know exactly what he's up against you can see he's doing a very defensive pylon placement he's able to get away with that and uh, picnic also doing a nine scout pretty common in PvP but you know I don't know if I necessarily like this so much because you reveal your race to your opponent that much quicker and we do see that Cecile Sunkir here he's going to be scouting uh, second while uh, uh, Picnic scouted first so going to be revealing his race a little bit earlier and this way Cecile Sankir is going to be able to know okay well I gotta you know kind of play my build my buildings a little more defensively get in a more defensive posture here and uh oh that's not a gateway ladies and gentlemen that is what I call a forge and uh, Cecile Sankir getting his own forge I like this defending that cannon rush uh, with your own cannons is a very 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 effective method of handling that let's see how picnic deals uh, let's see how Cecile Sankira deals with this I think he will be just fine picnic might be uh, looking to yep he built a pylon on the low ground and he's gonna start warping in cannons on the high ground and we'll have to see does Cecile Sankir know exactly what he needs to do to defend this it looks like Cecile is putting a pylon in his opponent's base as well the forge is now finished pylon now finishing up for picnic and the first cannon will be going down very shortly here picnic's probe is on the run Ooh, and it's taking quite a bit of damage he needs to be very careful not to lose his probe because the instant that happens this game is over now cecile sincere is already warping in pylons oh and picnic does not realize that only two probes are working on that now picnic warps in his own cannon uh using that uh using that uh, edge of the pylon there and it looks like Cecile Sinkir is working on the pylon himself this probe is so close to dying one more zap and that probe will get killed and that will stop this cannon rush for quite a bit I really would prefer uh, Cecile to work on the cannons instead but it looks like he will get the pylon in time and it does go down but both of the cannons here for Cecile Sinkir have been destroyed and so his cannon rush will be unsuccessful so far now another pylon being warped in by picnic on this high ground and this is looking to be really really tough for Cecile Sinkir I would have preferred if he went for the cannon rather than the pylon because it is always uh, the better option to go for that cannon in most cases seeing as uh, exactly what Picnic did just, did just warp in another pylon on the top part and now Cecile Sincur is going to be feeling a little bit up against the wall here we'll have to see Picnic putting another low ground pylon He's going to be able to warp in a cannon here and possibly another pylon to make his way across. But I think Cecile Sinkir is going to be uh, hes going to be pretty safe given that he has already a cannon warping in the back. Now, Cecile Sinkir has lost his probe in his opponent's base and uh, Picnic is beginning to transition out. And like I was saying at the start of this match, Picnic, his eternal problem so far that I've seen him play is his transition out of his original build. And this is a really dangerous position. The, the probe gets cornered and it will get killed. Killed, and that is going to put this cannon rush to a stop cannon on the low ground but it's not even going to matter as there there's going to be no sight and there's going to be no more probe here to build uh, that can and Cecile Sincure being very smart canceling that pylon as it was slightly too close and picnic bringing two more probes here to continue his cannon rush now the forge has been lost by Cecile Sincure and uh, he needs to he needs to figure out some way to stop uh, uh, this further uh, pushes by this cannon. If Picnic manages to get a probe inside Cecile Sincure's base, which looks like it looks like it could be very likely here, given that there's a cannon positioning here, this could be really bad. Now Sight is up again for Picnic, and he's going to be able to build another cannon, and that's defended by this one cannon in the back. And Cecile Sincure, man, I don't know what he can do. Now this second probe is building another pylon on the side. Let's go take a look at Cecile Sincure's vision. He has no idea this is happening. He can only see that this one cannon is warping in here. And what will he do to defend this? He has a Zella on the way, but that's not going to be very useful against this uh, one cannon position here. He can put a cannon back in his mineral line, but oh, and it looks like very nice positioning in that cannon eventually. 
and uh, Cecile Sankir has absolutely perfect positioning on his cannons on the side. Uh, and it looks, it seems like Cecile Sankir is going to be pretty well defended here. Well, I have to see, this is a pretty intense situation here, and I've so far I've been impressed, you know. I've been feeling kind of nervous for Cecile, but uh, he's done some impressive uh, uh, maneuvers to stop this cannon rush from doing maximum damage. Picnic having to cancel. Oh, and the stalker is now, that's going to be able to snipe uh, uh, the uh, worker here. But what will Picnic do, uh, what will Cecile do about these two cannons warping in? It looks like he is in range to do damage to them, so he is going to be fine. And amazingly enough, it seems like he has defended this cannon rush so far. The only issue is this one cannon shooting his gas, but Cecile already has the second gas up and ready to be mined from. Here comes one stalker from Picnic. I'm curious what he wants to do with this stalker. And it looks like Warpgate, yep, just like uh, uh, Edward Starcraft is saying in the back, Warpgate tech is finishing up for Picnic. And so Warpgate only just now on the way for Seal. It's like 60% done, 70% done. And it looks like he will snipe another unit there. And Picnic has his stalker in position, ready to uh, uh, assist any warping in units. And we do have a Twilight Council coming. Could it be Blink Stalkers? I highly doubt it would be Dark Templar, as there are already cannons ready here to do their old detecting. Uh, action there and warp gates now finished for Cecile his gateways are kind of late oh picnic already has four gateways ready to go and he's gonna warp in on this side and oh my god the situation just turned a lot worse for Cecile but he does have cannons up uh, that's possibly gonna allow him to hold this off for a little more but he chrono boosts into an empty war uh, into an empty cyber core he's gonna try to snipe this pylon off but these stalkers are in jeopardy right now there's a lot of stalkers out for picnic and they do get the first shot off Cecile needs to use his cannons in conjunction with his stalkers to defend his push but very nice positioning for picnic these stalkers are caught in the back uh, next to the assimilator here and Cecile is gonna have to pull probes and good game and like I said, my goodness, Picnic transitioned out of that cannon rush just in time to help him get that warp gate research earlier. And I really like what he did there. Uh, the cannon rush ended up being successful despite the fact that Cecile did uh, kind of a nice solid defense, I would say. But uh, just not quite effective enough to stop the follow-up. So with